Hey everyone, this is Roger from Almost in Full Color. Two months ago, I put out a gaming on Linux video that got a lot of good feedback, and I enjoyed the feedback a lot, so I wanted to create a part two to show off the other features that the community actually mentioned to me. Uh, the first video when I created it, I basically built this computer right here to do a uh, NAS for my house, a uh, network area storage, but I built it a little beefier than what it was probably needed to be just so I could do other tasks with it. So there's a Ryzen 3, a uh, second gen in there, a uh, 1050 Ti, um, and along with uh, SSD, uh, nothing too flashy here. Um, so basically, when I made the first video, I just had a bunch of in here to run the NAS software, and I kind of installed the drivers the old way, which is a little more complicated than what most people are used to. The newer version of Ubuntu actually comes with the NVIDIA drivers, I found out. Um, but today, we're going to look at a different operating system that is still Ubuntu-based, but it's called Pop OS. If you're unfamiliar who makes Pop OS, it's System76, which are known to make these high-quality laptops and desktops that run Linux. And now they made their own operating system to include in these computers. Uh, the second thing I'll probably also talk about is uh, Ludus, which is a way to run Windows games on Linux. So Pop OS I liked because um, it was very simple to install. The install process, you have to create a bootable USB, which I use Rufus. Uh, this is a free software you can download, and when you download Pop OS ISO, you can pick that and it automatically creates a boot uh, USB for you. And all you have to do is put this into a computer with no OS, or even with the OS if you want to try to do dual boot or install over another one. Um, but this example, I just had it cleaned hard drive. And it runs through a lot of steps that are pretty straightforward, uh, very Windows-based. It's very intuitive. The one thing I did like about Pop! OS that was different was it sets up to make you encrypt your hard drive. Uh, not many people really do this today. A lot of options to ask you that you can easily skip over. They actually present it to you to make it, and you had to default out if you didn't want it. So I always set this up on all my computers, which I recommend. Uh, with SSDs, it's not such a performance hit, hit to have stuff encrypted. Um, generally, I encrypt my OS drive if I don't encrypt everything. So after you install this, you basically get the uh, appearance of the desktop. And the, this desktop is very clean and minimalistic. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing here. Um, you kind of click activities or hit the Windows key on the keyboard to show your applications and move around. So I kind of like the look of this OS compared to a lot of other Linux distributions. Um, and basically here you got a pop shop, which is kind of your GUI package manager. And this is where I installed OBS and Steam so I can actually record a lot of these games and play some of them. So I started off with playing Celeste, uh, one of my favorite indie games. Uh, I played a little bit of level 9, but if you are a Celeste fan, level 9 is extremely hard. So I went back to classic Celeste for this, and this ran great. It's not a graphical game, so no performances here, and this was just a way to make sure, okay, everything's working fine. Next up, I played Formula 1 2015, a little more uh, power-hungry racing game, but still lightweight enough. And this performed excellent with my hardware. Um, I was getting pretty good frames for what I expected. I didn't even tweak the settings, so this was kind of default. So um, there's some things I could probably approve on once I fight with the controls more. Uh, the other game I played that was through Steam was Counter-Strike uh, CSGO. And this performed pretty well. Uh, again, I didn't touch the settings there. Um, I just suck at uh, CSGO anymore, so I was struggling there, but I enjoyed the overall performance here. Uh, what I do want to note is, kind of keeping with the budget theme, I played all these games with this wireless keyboard here and a cheap mouse uh, that I got from Walmart for 10 bucks. So I was kind of keeping with the theme of like, okay, here's a minimal setup and I don't have Windows right now, or I don't want to be illegal and get the fake copy of Windows, and I don't want to do the trial, I want to try something different, so this was just the option there. Uh, so next up I tried Ludus, which had a great interface. Uh, I downloaded through the Pop Shop, and basically this is something that uses Wine, which is set up to run Windows applications on Linux. A lot of this helps you because you can actually search for games, and here I kind of searched for World of Warcraft, uh, I had Overwatch already installed, 
And this gives you like uh, configurations to help improve the uh, output of the game instead of doing it yourself. So this was kind of like a package manager all on its own. When I started Overwatch, I had a lot of problems and I was very confused. I saw my CPU was at 100% constantly. I was like, this game isn't that heavy. What's going on? And then I looked at the bottom of, left of the screen eventually and saw it saying compiling shaders. And I was like, what is this? So after some Googling around, I found out that um, for Wine and to get the game to work uh, with DXMS, uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I'll correct it in here. Um, what happened is that it needs to compile the shader so you could use it. So I started up Overwatch and kind of waited for this to compile because this took about 70% of my CPU just waiting on the game. And then once it dropped off and finished, I played Overwatch. It ran smooth. I was really impressed by this. Counting down running a Windows game through basically Wine, which is a Windows emulator almost. I was getting really good performance, and I enjoyed this experience. Uh, here's some of the gameplay going on through here, and this was an eye-opening experience. I messed with Wine probably five to ten years ago, and it was not great. It was fine for running Windows applications like little ones, but like gaming, it was not too great. But this was a big improvement, and I enjoyed this a lot. So... This is a big thanks to the people that comment on the video. I kind of wanted to touch on these two uh, recommended suggestions. There was more that was recommended as well. Uh, some people mentioned Manjaro, which is a Linux distribution based off of Arc Linux, uh, which Arc Linux is not too friendly to new people, but Manjaro kind of helps with that. Uh, I probably won't cover that one because I do think you still need a little... Uh, more knowledge of Linux, but the Pop! OS was pretty simple. Uh, that was a very good, straightforward introduction to Linux. I was really impressed by uh, how this operating system built on Ubuntu improved the experience. I felt everything was so easy to do, and I liked the overall theme of it, uh, since they just wrote their own stuff over top of GNOME. And yeah, I enjoyed gaming on linux i didn't think it would be that good and it was a vast improvement over the ubuntu uh one thing i want to admit the pop os did install the nvidia drivers automatically i didn't even have to do anything uh, i got a pop up saying i needed to update the os because it was the first install and it updated all my drivers so anything dealing with drivers was already done for me i was amazed uh even smoother than windows because windows usually i gotta go download the driver this one just already had them for me uh, so yeah, uh, I do recommend Pop! OS for gaming a lot. Um, for general learning Linux, i kind of leaning towards it even for that reason. Uh, it was that great of experience for me. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, I appreciate, again, to the community commenting on that. I was so happy to see other Linux gamers. Uh, that was, I think, my biggest shock. I made the video just kind of explaining something basic and found these people that actually game on Linux. And I appreciate that and glad to hear that there's people that want to game on Linux. And with the support of Steam, actually a lot of games are moving to Linux. Uh, I think Steam OS was Linux-based. So eventually we may see more Linux games pop up uh, eventually, uh, more often than not. A lot of games now are starting to be more cross-platform. So anyways, this is Roger. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And maybe I'll make a third video or try to stream on my, this Linux box. Uh, I'll probably hook it up to my main computer. But I'll try to do a stream and just show, like, here's the experience of Linux live. Um, so, again, please like and subscribe. I hope you like this video. Peace.